Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on ForgottenWeapons.com. What we have today is actually a reproduction rifle, sort of. This, you'll see, looks an awful lot like a Trapdoor Springfield carbine, except the uh, sharp-eyed among you will notice that the front sight is kind of totally wrong, and the rear sight is a bit of a unique design. And if you could see down the bore, you would be a little concerned that it was awfully small for a 45 caliber rifle. Well, the reason is this is a reproduction of an experimental trapdoor in 3040 Crag. So, uh, in the late 1800s, 1890 was the, the final real trial. Um, the Army was looking to replace its trapdoor Springfields with a more modern magazine rifle. And so they got submissions from a whole bunch of different inventors, um, a lot of different inventors. Ultimately, the Crag Jorgensen rifle won, and we adopted that in 1892. But when they were doing all the tests on these uh, you know, potential new rifles, they wanted to have a, uh, a baseline, something to test against. So what the Army did was take a number of standard late model trapdoor Springfields and rebarrel them for the, th the new smokeless 3040 cartridge. So this is a model 1884 trapdoor Springfield receiver and uh, breech block, and it has on it the third variation of the really good rear sight. So this has a, a windage adjustment on it. Um, really a, a quite nice rear sight, especially compared to some of the early trapdoor sights. It has had a Springfield front sight kind of clutched onto it, which is actually how it would have been done in the original experimental guns. Um, and of course, a 30-40 caliber barrel. And the idea was, you know, we'll just shoot this with the same ammunition so that we have something to base our assessment of these new rifles with. Um, and it turns out, these were actually extraordinarily accurate guns. Um, they were really quite flabbergasted um, by how successfully accurate these were. Obviously, they didn't have the rate of fire of a magazine-fed rifle, um, and they weren't something that the Army was really looking to adopt because they, they, they knew they wanted a magazine-fed gun. Um, but there was actually a very real possibility for a little while of making a lot of the, the obsolete trapdoors into 3040s like this for things like training rifles or National Guard or militia use. Um, ultimately, that didn't happen because of budgetary reasons, which is kind of the reason all sorts of good things didn't ever happen with U.S. arms development. But we figured we'd pull this one out and put a few rounds through it and show you. Uh, the chances of finding a, a real, you know, an authentic uh, experimental example like this from those trials is basically zilch. Um, so this one was, was made up as a replica. And does really well in that role. It's actually it's a really nice rifle to shoot. So the ammo that would have been used at the time was this 220 grain round nose 3040, um, or as they called it, 30 Army. Uh, and it functions just like any normal trapdoor. Cock the hammer, lift the breech block, toss your round in, close the breech block, hammers at full cock so it's ready to fire. can bring the hammer back to half cock, open the breech block, that flips out the empty case, we can reload it. So the trapdoor um, in 4570 was a standard rifle for the U.S. military for several decades, um, and in fact the U.S. was one of the, the later major military countries to finally get away from single shot rifles and, and adopt a magazine rifle like the Craig. Now, one problem they did have with these in the trials was um, they apparently had a bit of a tendency on with hot, hot loaded ammo to pop the breech block open, which the Army wasn't all that thrilled about. Um, and they, they made some, tried making some adjustments to alter the angle of the lock um, and discovered that when they did that, instead of popping open, it would jam solidly shut. So there were some issues, but there really was a possibility of putting in a little bit of effort finding a, a good solution and using these for training or being able to do something with this stock of obsolete uh, single shots. So, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Got to take a look at a, a cool, very rare variant of uh, an interesting older US military rifle. Tune back in to ForgottenWeapons.com and we'll take a look at some more early cartridge conversions. Thanks for watching.